a very important video here. This is everything that I've warned of for years now. The digital dollar. This is going to be based on blockchain. Years ago in 2017, I put out a video talking about the beast blockchain. What would happen once we got to this point where they can convert dollars over to a digital currency flat out to where they can connect it to the blockchain. That is the big difference. The blockchain. Some people could say, oh, everything's digital anyway. We've already got a credit card. Everything's in the bank. Not that kind of digital. The digital connected to blockchain where they can track every single transaction on the planet. Everyone. Doing away with fiat currency. There's no more hiding money under your mattress. There's no more hiding money in your safe. Everything will be digitized. They will track every single transaction, including you, on the blockchain. That is the warning. It's been out there for years now. Here we are in a situation with this whole coronavirus crap to where it ushers in another thing to their advantage. This, the digitized dollar. It was one thing to say, oh, they're clamping down people everywhere. Freedoms are being stripped and all these other things. Vaccine coming down the pipeline. You know, a dream come true for them. But now you add this into the mix, it's truly everything they've ever wanted. Now, what they're looking to do here with the creation of the digital dollar is to establish a digital dollar wallet. And what will send shockwaves through the cryptocurrency and blockchain industry, they're saying, this is pretty wild. The whole idea here is to make sure that everyone can get this digital downloadable wallet so that they can get their money from the government. Now, you're, you're probably scratching your head like, what? Why don't they just send it to me and email it to me? Well, here's why. This is the whole excuse for all of this. They are stating that per their data, there are unbanked and underbanked people out there across the country. And they say that per this FDIC report, going back to the same year I warned you about this, 2017, they identified 63 million people that are unbanked or underbanked in the United States. That's what they are saying. If checks are the form of payment, the stimulus is not going to reach many of them, is what they state. How is that? Every single person that even has food stamps or anything else like that out there has to go through a process of showing where they live, the address, a mailbox, and all this other stuff. They can still get the check and cash it if it's made out to them and they have the proper ID and they know this. But they, they're saying that the checks are just going to disappear for 63 million people. They're not going to get it. And the only way to assure that they're going to get it is to make sure that they've got this digital wallet on their cell phone. So for people that say, oh, what about the, the poor folks and the homeless folks that don't have an address? Well, how come they've got a cell phone if they don't have somewhere to live? Where's the priorities in all this? And I'm telling you, this is the cheapest excuse I've ever seen to do away with the fiat. They're not even talking about fiat. They're talking about writing checks and that it's not going to get to everyone and that the answer is the digitized dollar. Warned you over and over. I've warned you over and over in all my live streams for the past two months over Jerome Powell and all them were taking this. I've talked about this digital dollar left and right. We've warned about it more than anyone that I've seen out there for years now. Now it's here. They're looking to implement this, so I'm sure it's going to be rolled out in stages, but they didn't just come up with, with this out of nowhere. This had to have been talked about for a long time as part of the plan. I'm telling you, it was. I'm going to leave links below. Make sure to follow me over here on DLive. Exclusive content where I'm talking about this stuff constantly. Multiple live streams throughout the week around 9 p.m. Eastern. Usually Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. You can find links in the description box below. Much love, y'all.